Here at the London Design Summit, I'm very pleased to be joined by Colin Howell and Marcel Borg from Her Majesty's Passport Office. Marcel, tell me what that is to start with you. Thank you very much. Um, so Her Majesty's Passport Office. Um, so we issue passports to the public, hence it's in the name. Um, we look at confirming uh, identity and nationality um, uh, to make sure that decisions that our examiners make before issuing the passports uh, are, are correct. Okay, and every five years, if I'm not mistaken, you do a new design for the passport? So yes, so we, we, we look at the threats and, and evolving technologies over, over a five-year period um, and, and what developments are happening in the marketplace that can help um, the forgers develop their skills to the extent where they can not replicate our passport but make a good effort at forging our passport. Okay, so therefore that's why you have to keep on top of the technology and, and keep ahead of all things that need to be kept ahead of, I suppose. And that, that's where you come in uh, as the designer. So you're from Delarue. Hello, Colin. Hey, hello. G'day. Um, so what, what's your job? Tell me what you've done. Yeah, so, well, I'm the creative lead designer on this passport. And uh, I was involved in the previous uh, launch, uh, which was Scenic Britain. And this is uh, uh, the exciting launch of Creative United Kingdom Passport. So um, it started with some early concepts and uh, collaboration with the passport office, um, brainstorming sessions, and then going out to research in the field, um, coming up with some early drafts, some early drawings. And, uh, and then coming up with those concepts. Um, we had about three weeks per visa page to come up with a concept. So I would work with Marcel, and uh, he would give me some ideas. We also shared some subject matter, and then in that three weeks, collaborate together and then present and pitch the design once I'd finished it. And, and you're pitching to Marcel? That's how it works? Yep. Yes, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Is that right? Uh, yeah, it's a good joint club. Yes. Okay, yeah, so, so tell me more about that f from your perspective. Obviously, you want to get the right designer to work with you because a lot of it is about not only the look, but it's also about the tech that you were talking about too. It, it is. and it, So, so, so Delarue, our, our print partner, um, ha have some great printing presses um, that allow us to achieve some, some real great security into our documents as well as allow us to produce a secure document that is aesthetically pleasing as well. And, and what was the collaboration like for you? What did you want out of that connection? So what we wanted was a passport that addressed the, the threats that we know today and the attacks that we've seen, um, something that is, uh, has, a, has a modern feel to it uh, and something that's going to remain secure for certainly at least the next 10 years. Okay. I know you've got one in your pocket. You do, don't you? I do indeed. Pull it out, yes. go on. <laughs> so it's the right one. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. Well, thank you. I'll see you later, guys. <laughs> I'm off to Ibiza. Um, so that's it. So tell me about the design. What have you done? So, so, so the design is um, uh, uh, around um, uh, Creative United Kingdom. So we've looked at, we've looked at celebrating uh, creative success in the United Kingdom over the last 500 years. Um, we featured um, various categories. There are four repeating categories in the passport with each double page spread featuring its own design. Um, and every, every page tells its own story. So we're looking at, uh, at creative success in, uh, as, as artists, um, as, as landmarks and architecture, um, iconic innovations. Uh, and there's it some real great stories throughout, throughout this design. I think Colin, as a designer, you probably agree too. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's interesting. Um, listening to Marcel, he sounds like a client from Her Majesty's Passport Office who really knows what they want. So uh, very determined. The brief sounds like it was very strong for you. So how then do you push the client when they're so confident? Um, well, it's a huge challenge. Um, but I, I think that the we, we really wanted to do initiate courage here by pushing the boundaries on colour, um, striking colour with the spot colours um, which feature in the passport in the, in the red. And uh, naturally, passports, because you have a visa stamp, they lend themselves to pale colours. That's harder to counterfeit as well. So we've got those. But it was just uh, pushing those boundaries and limitations a little bit and being courageous in those areas. Also, in the UV workings, um, which are the hidden workings within the passport, we've gone for a little bit more striking colours, a brighter orange. It's been dulled down somewhat, but, um, but we've, we've gone and pushed the, those boundaries a little bit more there as well. So, uh, so it's, been a, it's been a, certainly been a long journey and, uh, and it's taken us all over the country. I've discovered more about my own culture <laughs> here in the UK and, um, and certainly challenging as well working with living artists, um, Anish Kapoor 
and uh, Sir Anthony Gormley and visiting their studios and of course going into um, a studio like that and then showing them a design, a collaboration between Marcel and I, um, showing those guys that design that we've come up with was a little bit daunting uh, because you're thinking what are these guys, um, these experts in the field going to say about, about this design? But, what did uh, they say? Um, it, was, it was really good, uh, ever so good feedback. Um, they pointed us in the right direction just with, with a few key changes in colour and moving the design a little bit but generally the feel was good and uh, was well received. Mm. Um, and how, I mean, we were just talking about how, uh, you know, Colin had to sort of push you guys a little bit for colour and a few things like that. How, ex how ready are you to accept the designer's input, I suppose? Um, <coughs> clearly, Colin's an expert in his field. Um, for us, uh, you know, for, for Her Majesty's Passport Office, it, it, it's, it's about the security of the document. And, and Colin came up with the, the creative design behind, mm. behind this, making those pages look very, very nice. Uh, and, and, and they do. Um, to introduce colour, actually, you can gain a lot of security from colour, particularly the, the, the harsh spot colours, um, whereas the traditional passports tend to be more, more pastel in colour. So we've tried to do a combination of both traditional and modern using sophisticated printing presses. A wonderful-looking passport, obviously very secure as well. Marcel and Colin, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.